We're going to go through the sequence to optimize a laryngeal view. If we're doing laryngoscopy and we don't have a perfect view or we don't have an adequate view, then there's a few things we can try. The first thing is to try and improve purchase in the vollecular to lift that epiglottis. So what we would do is external laryngeal manipulation, putting pressure on the thyroid cartilage to try and improve the position of the tip of the blade into the vollecular, and that will then get better lift of the epiglottis. Once that happens, I can then let go with my right hand. So that's the first thing. External laryngeal manipulation, also known as bimanual laryngoscopy, to improve purchase of the tip of the blade into the vollecular. We can see on the screen there when I push down, the epiglottis comes up. There we go. If that doesn't work, we can try more head elevation. This patient is well positioned, ear to sternal notch. But if we hadn't adequately positioned them, it's a large or obese patient, we may need to lift the head and shoulders more, particularly the head. So lifting the head more opens up the view. You can see on the screen as I lift the head, I'm getting a better view each time. So external laryngeal manipulation, lifting the head. If those sequences fail, my next step is to insert the blade all the way in so the tip is in the esophagus. As I, I then lift and pull back, and as I do that, it exposes the cords. I'll show you again going in to the esophagus, that's the esophageal inlet on the screen there. I'm lifting the laryngoscope that way and pulling back and as I pull back, as I withdraw, you'll see the cords flop into view. This time I've hooked up the epiglottis, it's controlled by the blade and I've got a beautiful view there. So just to summarize, if we don't get an adequate view on initial laryngoscopy, despite our initial attempts at optimal positioning and full paralysis, I'm going to do external laryngeal manipulation. I'm going to lift the head more. I'm going to insert all the way, lift and come back. Those are our basic drills to optimize our view of laryngoscopy, our sequence to optimize laryngeal view.